There is a festive mood all over the country. Stores are full. Everyone in the country is excited about the arrival of Mahapurush Shri Manta Shankar Deva. King Narayana is too much excited about Shri Manta Shankar Deva's decision of making Vrindavani Vastra. King Narayana forgets about everything and concentrates only on this. The palace is in pin drop silence situation. King called for a tailor named Sandohai, who hasn't arrived yet. Suddenly Sandohai asks the gatekeeper, Sir, please let me go in. Sandohai arrived at the palace. The king asked, Why are you late, Sandohai? Come forward. King Nara Narayana said, Lord Srimanta Shankar Deva had started making Vrindavani Vastra. So I want you to prepare a dress for him for the launch event of Vrindavani Vastra. Complete your task soon, Sandohai. Okay, my highness. Sandohai is in deep trouble now. Sandohai ran to his guru's place before it gets dark, in order to take measurement for the dress. After walking many miles, Sandohai reached Guruji's place. The way Sandohai respect his guru, he was also scared of him. He started watching his Guruji silently. At last, after getting a chance, he approached towards his Guruji's house. He saw a light coming from inside of the house. He slowly peeped inside and the scene that he saw astonished him. He saw his Guruji was floating in the space and he was writing a book using his four hands. Different types of light fell together at Sandohai's face and he started running towards his home. It's dawn morning, day one of preparing Vrindavani Vastra. All the devotees came together to meet Guruji. Mahapurush, in excitement, had his first move on Vrindavani Vastra. All the devotees started walking. At the end of the day, Guruji and Madhavdev looked at the Vastra. Looking at the progress after the day, Guruji wasn't satisfied and called for Madhavdev. Evening time, so by obeying Guruji's instruction, Madhavdev went to Guruji's place. Both of them had a very deep and serious discussion about the Vastra. At last, Guruji looked hopefully at Madhavdev. Finally, Guruji handed over the responsibility of making the Vrindavani Vastra to Madhavdeva. Next morning, obeying Guruji's words, Madhavdeva gathered all the villagers together and started to work. Everyone worked the whole day in full spirit. Many days passed. Everyone worked on the Vastra, on the guidance and instructions of Guruji. Madhavdev, along with the villagers, finally completed the task of making the Vastra. In the final day, Madhavdev called Shankar Deva and showed him the work. Guruji was very happy looking at his work and silently blessed Madhavdev for his work. Madhavdeva's happiness couldn't be described after he got blessed by Guruji. On the other side, Sandohai had completed making the dress and he took it and went to the palace very confidently. 
After he reached the palace, Sandohai showed the dress to the king that he prepared. The king was astonished after looking at the dress. On the other side, Vrindavani Vastra was completed and preparation was made to bring it to the palace and display to the king. All the devotees came together, carried it and started walking to the palace. After reaching the palace, everyone displayed the Krishna Leela art that was personified by Guruji. A light came out of it, which flashed in everyone's eyes and everyone bowed their heads in front of Shankar Deva. Raja came to know about Shankar Deva's real avatar. He closed his eyes and bowed his head and prayed to him. At last, Shankar Deva showed his hidden avatar along with Vindavani Vastra to the king.